in the house on today. Yes, yes. 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 yes to your will. Yes. yes to your way. Let's pray. Father God and our God, once again we thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy toward us. God, we thank you for this another opportunity, Lord God, to come and share your word. Now, God, as we come to preaching time, we ask that you would speak to me and speak through me. Mm -hmm. God, use these lips of clay. Then, God, prepare the ears of your people that they might hear a word from you. Mm -hmm. That someone might come running asking, what must I do to be saved? God, I confess you this day, this day. as Lord and Savior of their life. Mm -hmm. Have your way, dear Lord. We feel your presence in this place. We love you, Lord, because you first loved us. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. To him be all the praise. We give honor to God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. Amen. Amen. We want to also remind you, Just we asked last week that uh, you would stay for just a couple minutes after service. So we're asking all the brothers immediately. Somebody say immediately. Immediately. Immediately after service, brothers, downstairs for five minutes. Amen? Amen. Sisters, don't want you to run out. Sisters, stay right where you are <laughs> for five minutes. Now you're going to say, well, Pastor, how are you going to speak downstairs and upstairs? I'm not. I'm going to talk to the brothers for a quick five minutes. Amen? And then I'm going to have someone speak to me, speak to you on my behalf. Amen. 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 Y'all looking ready for my wife. It's not my wife. <laughs> Sister Neil is going to handle it for me. All right. So All right. just five minutes. So just stay where you are, ladies. Brothers, straight downstairs. Amen. Just five minutes as we talk about some more ministry that God is having for us to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our brothers and sisters, we want to pick up uh, from what we dropped off on last week. Amen. Here in our text. And finish out this message uh, that we were unable to complete on last week with our travel. Uh, on last week, we were able to look at the text and, and witness and see how accusation how slander and even attack can often be a stumbling block, if not a butcher's block, for the believer and the person who is being attacked. And we understood, my brothers and sisters, the experience of being accused, mm -hmm. whether justly or unjustly. The experience was one that all of us could relate to. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because at one point or another, all of us have been accused, whether yes, justly or unjustly. Right. Yet, yet, yet it is true, it is through our experience of being accused that we come to find out that accusation alone isn't the sole destroyer of our character or our testimony. All right. Are you here with me on this morning? But, but the truth of the matter is, what is the destroyer of our character and our testimony sometimes is ourselves. Uh -huh. I wish I had some help here. Uh, I submit I to you on today that sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. Amen. Anybody here with me on Amen. this morning? All right. And our response, our response to accusation uh, oftentimes demonstrates who it is that we really are. Amen. How we react, uh -huh. how we respond to accusation oftentimes really tells others who we really are. Amen. Many of us, many of us in our varied areas of daily life have to deal with accusation, mm -hmm. false or otherwise, right. and it's our response to that accusation that lets the world know and determine the outcome. Amen. But, but watch this, watch this. It, it shows either our commitment and dedication to Christ or our submission to this thing we call the flesh. Mm -hmm. Because how we react and how we respond to those who are pointing finger at us, whether we go back into who we used to be. Y'all right. <laughs> right. oh, no. remember, yo, well, we in church, we call it the BC days. <laughs> Y'all know what the BC days are, don't you? <laughs> Help me, somebody. The before Christ days. <laughs> Some of y'all living in both before Christ. And, all, all right, all right, all right, all right. But but, but oftentimes our, our reaction helps others determine who we are. Mm -hmm. Think think about it. Think about it, if you will. Uh, uh, we got some principals here. Principal high school. Principal Shockley. Uh, think about it, when you were back in grade school. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Now, I know I give a few of you a little bit extra minutes. <laughs> you got a little further back to think a little bit. But, but, but think about it. Think about it. Think about it. When you were back in grade school, when, when another student accused you of something, All right. accused you of doing something wrong, either, uh -huh. either to the teacher or, or to another student. Uh -huh. you, you remember those days? Back, back, back then, your only options were simple. Yes. 
Beat up the Joker? Come on, somebody. I wish I had some real folk here. Beat, beat him up who was telling the lie on you and wind up going to the principal's office. Amen. Wind up getting suspended from school. All right. Or going home and telling your parents that they might come to school and take care of the situation yeah. with the adults. Uh -huh. Yet, no matter how far back you had to think, <laughs> if we tell the truth on today, many of us did not choose option number two. Right. <laughs> I, I wish I had some honest folk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many of us, uh, uh, we sat in class all morning or all afternoon long looking at that joker that lied on us. <laughs> and gave them the universal sign for a beatdown. You know what that is, don't you? Oh, all day long, from lunch to the bell, not waiting to get a hold. Everybody knew what that meant. And it was our response to the accusation that either landed us in trouble or allowed us to be cleared and exonerated of the charges that were leveled against us. All right, yes. Here it is, my brothers and sisters. We are back at our text on today where charges have been brought against one who was caught in the very act of an offense. Yes. Uh -huh. One who was guilty of the charges and accusation being leveled against them. One who has no reasonable defense and who appears to have no possible way of avoiding penalty and punishment. Amen. Yet one who finds an advocate to speak on their behalf. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you missed your chance to shout right yes. there. My brothers and my sisters, although that illustration is speaking to the, this one, this woman, we see in our text on today. It is also representative, representative of all of us that are gathered here in this house of worship on this morning. Amen. For the truth of the matter is that each of us has stood in that same position. Amen. Each of us have been accused. Mm -hmm. Each of us have been guilty. Yes. Each of us have been found committing the very act of sin that we stood accused of. But thanks be unto God. I said thanks be unto God. We too have an advocate. Anybody grateful that you have an advocate? We have an advocate that speaks on our behalf. Yeah, yeah, I said we have an advocate who speaks on our behalf. Here it is, here it is. Just a quick catch up. Uh, after coming to the temple early in the morning to teach, Jesus here is confronted by the scribes and Pharisees with the plot to cause him to speak against the law of Moses. Uh, they did this that they might have an accusation against him in order to arrest him. You know the story. But Jesus, knowing their schemes, because he's omniscient. Right. That means, that means he knows everything. Yes, Am I right about it? Yes, he knows their plan before they even planned it. He's omniscient. He sees right through their little plan, and we see in the text that Jesus ignores them. Yes. Hey, we talked about it last week. He ignored them. He stooped down on the ground, and he began to write with his finger on the ground. Yes, sir. You remember the story? Yeah, yeah. This was a prime example for us not to allow ourselves to be caught up in the foolish and manipulative games of others. Come on, help me, somebody. Jesus shows us that it is sometimes better just to remain silent and not immediately react Amen. or overreact right. to All situations right. that people want to throw up at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your neighbor, don't get caught up. Don't, 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 don't get caught up. We shared in, we shared in Sunday school this morning. Don't, don't be so thin-skinned. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, if you're a believer in our resurre resurrected Savior, don't be so thin-skinned. Because if they did it to Christ, they're going to do it to you. Come on, I wish you'd help me preach this thing. Don't get caught up in the treachery of others whose only goal and purpose in life is to cause havoc and destruction. Not, not, only, not, only, not only in your life, but, but watch this, not only in your life, but also in the lives of others who are attempting to live a holy and righteous life before Almighty God. Yes, sir. Are you praying with me on this morning? Yes, sir. Because, because my brothers and my sisters, if you allow them to, they will use you as a means to facilitate as much chaos and damage as you can on their behalf. Uh -huh. That is why Paul admonishes the believer over in Ephesians 5 and 11, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Uh -huh. He says, but rather reprove them. Come on, tell your neighbor, don't get caught up. Don't get don't 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 get caught up. Text, text, text right there in verse 7. Said that they continued asking Jesus their question over and 
over and over and over again. Now, how many of you know that the devil will attack you over and over and over? Come on, can I get a witness in this place? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's, that's the one thing, that's the one thing, my brothers and sisters, that the enemy is. He is persistent. Yes, sir. I wish I had some time. Yes, sir. That, that is why, that is why, that is why Preach believers Preach must it. remain just as persistent in our study and meditation of the word of God. Amen. That's why we're going to have this blitz next month in Sunday school. That's why we're going to have a blitz for Bible study because the devil is always on his job. Amen. And the believer must always be on their job. Amen. Studying to show themselves the proof. Putting on the whole armor of God. Are you praying with me on this morning? That way when the enemy attempts to use us for his devilment and break our commitment to God, we can say as the psalmist said in Psalm 119.11, Thy word have I hid in my heart. I wish I had some Bible readers in this place. That I might not sin against thee. Bless his name. And then we, my brothers and sisters, can find ourselves victorious instead of victims. And tricks to the, of the wiles of the enemy. Here it is. Here it is in the text. They insisted on receiving a response from Jesus so that they, in their own mind, would have a reason uh, to subdue him. But watch my Jesus, Deacon Keith. Jesus, in his own manner, he, he now acknowledges them. And he says to them this. He, he, he says, uh, uh, the law clearly states what the penalty of the offense calls for. Mm -hmm. But watch what he does. He then places it right back in their own laps. Yeah. Turns the mirror of accusation right back on them. Yeah. When he says it's right there in the text, he says then, he that is without sin among you. Mm -hmm. He said, Deacon White, let him, let him. cast the stone yeah. at her. Here it is, here it is. Jesus did not say that the woman was innocent. All right. he, he, he didn't say, he didn't say no. that the woman was innocent. No, but what he did do was show the sin of the accuser's own lives to themselves. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a reminder that the text as well as us on today, that if you want to judge other folk, All right. your own life, yeah. your, your own stuff better be in order. I, I wish I had some help in this place. Yeah, yeah, don't go around pointing, pointing fingers at other people's junk. Yeah. And your house a mess. Yeah. I, I wish I had somebody help me this morning, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't be worried about what's going on in somebody else's backyard. And your stuff is growing weeds higher and taller than you. Come on here, somebody. He's showing us. He's showing us. He didn't say she was innocent. That's right. He's showing the very ones who are pointing the fingers that your stuff is not clean and your stuff is not pure. All right. Even in the in the church today, mm -hmm. talk about spaces in the pews. Stop looking at other folk and thinking that you know who they are. Amen. That's right. Amen. Stop. Stop thinking that you know what they need. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, stop thinking you, you know how to fix them. Because the truth of the matter, you don't even know how to fix yourself. Amen. Come on here, help me somebody. You trying to fix somebody up while your life is tore up from the floor up. You, I, come on, I wish I had some real quick here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, even in the church today, too many people are trying to judge folk yeah. based upon what they see. And now on the outward appearance and, and not what's in the person's heart. Based upon what they heard. But you know we have a tendency <laughs> to believe stuff that folk come on y'all, I wish y'all helped me in this place today. Might not be no truth in it based upon what somebody tells them. Mm -hmm. well, even more worse than that, based upon what we think. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you know sometimes our thinking yeah. can be stinking? Yeah. I wish I had some help here. Right. Thank you, thank you. But Jesus, Jesus here with the text, watch this, Jesus here with the text, he does not execute, excuse the sin of this woman. He doesn't excuse her sin. Mm -hmm. As some false preachers and teachers and, and even some false Christians mm. uh, attempt to do but uh, when they use this verse as an approval or a crutch for them to live unholy and engage in sin, mm -hmm. you know, the first thing folk want to do, uh, I'm only human. <laughs> he that is without sin. Yeah. Come on, help me somebody. You know, you know, you, 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 you know the ones, you've seen them. He can do a little. 
<laughs> no offense, Deacon. But Deacon do a little bit of this. He do a little bit of that. I, I, I can't get no help yet. But quick to tell you, he who was without sin. Yeah, you know, yeah. sister, sip or two. Yeah. Might have one sip. <laughs> Maybe have two. Yeah. Come on, I can't get no help. But we remind you, he who was without sin. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know the ones. Preacher, please, the people. Mm -hmm. Laying on hands. When you're not in service. All right, now. All right. Not on your own wife. I can't get no help here. But while Sister Jill's husband, I had to get a name I didn't know. Sister Jill's husband is at work. Got the nerve talking about you doing outreach. The devil is alive. I, I, I wish I had. I wish I had some time. But quick. Let's say who. Who is without sin. Uh -huh. You know, my brothers and sisters, as we mature, mm -hmm. and as we grow up in this word, right. we, we, we have to stop relying on crutches yes. and, and stuff that we can lean on when we uh, do wrong on purpose. None of us are perfect. We all make none. mistakes. We sin by word, thought, or deed. Yeah. Folks can hear what you say wrong. They can see what you do wrong, but nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going on and what kind of diabolical thoughts you got going on in that head of yours. You got a small head, don't matter, it's just as much. Some of us would have lost. All right, all right, all right. We sit in words all the day, but here it is, here it is. The text says, Jesus returns to the ground and he starts to write again. Yes, sir. Says it right there in the text, verse 8. And, and again, he wrote this time. And, and my brothers and sisters, we don't know if it was a continuation of what he wrote the first time All right. or, or if it was another new uh, dissertation. Mm -hmm. no, no one knows. The text doesn't tell us that. But these two instances are the only instances where we find Jesus write, Christ writing in the scriptures. Uh -huh. The Bible says that after this, those that were accused, yeah. all those that were pointing fingers, all those that were demanding blood begin to leave one by one. Yes, sir. Where are they now? Mm -hmm. no, 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 notice if you will. Notice if you will how the text said that they begin to leave. Mm -hmm. the, the text says that beginning at the elders, oh, yeah. even until the last. Yeah. Can I pause right there for a moment? Sure is. Bless his name. I, I have to say this under the direction of the Holy Spirit that the elders, mm -hmm. uh, those who have some years, those that may have some experiences, those that have traveled this thing called life right. with some ups and with some downs. Yes, sir. Can anybody testify? Yes, sir. You've had some good days and yeah. you have some bad. Yes, but through it all, God has kept you. Yes, Can I get a witness in this place? Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The elders, the, the elders are not called to be judge, jury, and executioner of anyone. All right. But watch this. Stay with me if you will. Watch this. You are called to be the guardian. You are called to be the mentors. You are called to be the advisors of those that are to come behind you. That, that, that's why we're meeting on today. We're meeting on today in case you didn't know, I'll let you know. Because we want to start a men's ministry and a women's ministry in the church where the men and women of God get together to deal with the men and the life issues Amen. of men and God and women of God. Amen. Not, not, for, not for fronting and, 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 and falsehood, but that we might grow in grace. Amen. And also receive instruction and wisdom yes, sir. from those who have already gone that way. Yeah. So mothers, elders, fathers, 89 years, there's work for you Amen. to do in the house of the Lord. Are you praying with me? Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do I know? How do I know that he's calling the elders to continue to do work in the house of the Lord? I know because Moses had Joshua. I know because Naomi had Ruth. Yeah. I know because Elijah had Elisha. Yeah. I know because Paul had Timothy. Yeah. That's why Peter writes in 1 Peter 5, 14, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and a partaker of the glory that she be, shall be revealed. He says, Feed the flock of God, uh -huh. which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. 
not by filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Watch this, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being examples. Tell your neighbor, be an example. Be an example. Be an example. Yeah. Being examples to the flock. Mm -hmm. Here's the good news, elders, when you work, and keep on working for the Lord. Here's the good news. He said, and when the chief shepherd shall appear. Yes, sir. He said, ye shall. Somebody say, ye shall. Ye shall. He said, ye, ye shall receive a crown of glory. That fate is not away. Or oh, somebody ought to give God a praise right there. Yeah. For he promises. Promise. Yeah, yeah. From the eldest to the youngest in the text, they all departed from his presence. Mm -hmm. for, for I don't care what laws they make. You can hate. I, I don't care what is politically or politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. But I stand firm on the fact that the Bible is still true. Yes. Anybody here with me on today? I said the Bible yes. is still true. Yes. But they all departed without one word from the Lord because the Bible is still true. Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory. I wish I had some Bible readers here. Amen. Glory of God. They all departed because the Bible is still true. For David wrote in Psalm 52 and 3, Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Yes, the Bible is still true. Tell your neighbor, it's still true. It's still true. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they now? Where are they now? I'm about to go. Get out your way. You know the story. They all dispersed. Mm -hmm. They have all now scattered, leaving both Jesus and this woman alone standing mm -hmm. in the midst. Yes, sir. yes, the Bible says there in verse 10 that when Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he asked her a question. Mm -hmm. Can I paraphrase the text? Mm -hmm. you don't he asked her a question. He said, uh, where are they now? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Jesus asked the woman, where are they now? And if any had condemned her. And watch this. It is interesting that this woman, uh, the very one who had been found committing the act for which she had been accused, the very one who was guilty as charged, this woman responds to Jesus and says, no man, Lord. No man. It's interesting. Did she know who Jesus was? She said, Lord. Did she know him as Lord and Savior? All right. But you have to understand, my brothers and my sisters, that this, at this time in the scripture, the word Lord often meant sir. Mm -hmm. And although this woman was calling him Lord, she probably had no idea that he was Lord of Lord. All right. yeah. She probably had no idea he was King of Kings. Oh, yeah. But she was really saying, no man, sir. <laughs> here it is, here it is, and I'm gone. Here it is. Uh, now, 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 now. Uh, Jesus reveals to the woman that every accusatory finger that had been pointed at her was now gone. Yes. And there was now none left to indict her. But watch this, watch this. Jesus shows her, just like he showed so many of us, the unmerited favor and mercy of God. Uh, it's right there in the text, right there in the text. He says, neither do I condemn thee. But watch this, he says, go and sin no more. Stop doing what you've been doing. Stop doing what you've been so easy crafting. He says, go. Savor it. Can I take this last thing I'm out of here? Me, that's love. Jesus, be the part of us then. Lord, remember For the law of the land was the land. But what he did was to show exactly who he was here on the earth. That being great and true. Anybody thankful for grace on today? John, John, John 117 says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. His grace was neither do I condemn. His truth was go and sin no more. But how many know one day, once you have experience with Jesus, your life will never be the same. You're not going to witness in this place. I said, Once you have an experience with Jesus, Paul, Paul was the in verse 51. This is a faithful thing. Worthy of all expectations. That Christ Jesus came into the world to say,
words of this song are right. But this time Jesus loves you so much. The story is that he comes on Calvary. Oh, that you and I, my brothers and sisters, might have a right to the tree of life.